Hey, this is Nev Lapper with Snowboard Addiction. We're up here at Whistler today doing a little tutorial about how to drop cliffs and a couple of tips for dropping your first cliffs. Just so you check out where we are right now, this is a really iconic little cliff spot on Whistler Blackcomb. This is called the Waterfall. And then up above it there, we have Air Jordan, one of the most famous cliffs in Whistler Blackcomb. If you're ever up around a powder day, there's a lot of people usually jumping off this stuff. Now, when it comes to dropping your first cliff, the most important thing is to know what you're jumping off. You do not want to send yourself off something where you don't know what's below. There's a few different ways you can do that. One, it could be something that you've looked at yourself and you know what's below it, maybe you've hit the cliff before. Two, you might have a friend with you who's telling you where to jump off. Because sometimes from the top, you can't actually see where you're gonna land occasionally. You may have someone kind of standing there pointing out the best spot to jump off. And three, when you start getting into real big cliffs, you may have actually taken a photo of that cliff and are looking at it on your phone before you drop so you kind of know which direction you're gonna be going. Now, on your first few cliffs, you're probably just going to creep off them pretty slow. You're not going to be jumping very much. But as you get better, it's actually better if you can put a little bit of pop, a little bit of ollie as you go off that cliff. What it's going to do is it's going to give you um, more control in the air when you, when you pop your board into the air. But it's also going to make it look way more stylish um, to jump off a cliff. And it gives you that option to be able to put a grab in too, which again makes it look way better. And that's just one thing, cliffs, they, they feel fun, they look cool, and you might as well make it look good. The hardest thing about cliffs is usually the landing, because you're landing in powder. So if you're on a powder board, that makes it easier. If you're on a freestyle board, sometimes you'll land and the, and the powder will grip you, throwing you forward. In fact, if you jump off a cliff that has too much of a flat landing, that's when you're likely going to land and roll forward. So the steeper you can get the landing at the bottom of the cliff, the easier it's going to be able to ride away. Now, in powder, a lot of people think you've got to be like landing real tail heavy and leaning back. The, if you land off a cliff onto your tail, it's going to pop you out of control. The ideal technique is actually to land with both feet and then push your board forward underneath you, regaining control. So you're landing with maximum control of both feet, pushing through to ride through that powder. One of the best tips I have for hitting a cliff is once you've hit it the first time, go back on that run and hit that same cliff again. Because the second time you hit a cliff, you're gonna be more aware of it, you're gonna know what it feels like, you're gonna be more confident jumping off it, you're gonna be able to put that little ollie in off the lip, and that's just gonna make it feel that much better. So there's a couple of tips on uh, how to drop cliffs. We're up here at Whistler Blackcomb, it's a sunny day, we've got some nice snow. Um, have a lot of fun, it's one of the best parts of snowboarding, riding power, dropping cliffs. All right, this is Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.